Welcome back, everybody, to Tier 4 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, 2004. It's time for more ghoul battles, and we're going to try and defeat all of them, despite the fact that they're very difficult. Uh, let's see. We got strings again. They really want me to beat strings. This game, I'm starting to feel like it's not random. I'm starting to feel like they're just forcing me to duel them. Which, fine. Whatever. If that's what you want. Oh, we have a new deck, by the way. Which, I will do my best. Wow, did I happen to draw two fields? Are you serious, game? Okay, whatever. Let's throw away his cards. Delinquent Duo, what did Strings have in his hand that I need to be afraid of? Two normal monsters. He started with Vorse Raider again and Humanoids. I feel like that's his basic start. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we're just going to play Set a Shining Angel, and I'll have TAT ready just in case they pop my Shining Angel with Dark Hole or something. Since that's what they are known and love to do. So let's see what you end up doing, Strings. Strings is going to play Rageki, which is just the same thing in my, you know, when you think about it. Monster Born on Vorse Raider is annoying, but not worth a TT. Uh, just because they haven't normal summoned yet. And that's when we, yep, that's what patient earns you. Patience earns you a big kill. There we go. And now, even though I have no hand, Strings has nothing either. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's unlucky as hell. <laughs> My new deck, just to make sure I would draw more monsters, has 23 monsters guaranteed in there. And I did not draw more monsters, which is hilarious. It's so funny. That was 17 spells and traps, I'm still having a monster problem. Now granted, Shining Angel was supposed to help me with my monster problem, but it got raigeki so what are you gonna do? I'm gonna have to take 800 damage, I already took my 1000 delinquent duo, there you are, Guardian of the Throne Room. Uh, we're gonna try and bait out a trap card, let's see if it activates if I play Luminous Spark. Please don't be a good trap, it's probably gonna be a good trap, okay. Well, we have to live with it, let's just go ahead and summon our monster. All right, come and get me, you good trap, you. Don't be Magic Cylinder or Mirror Force. Those are the two things I'm afraid of. And the attack will be canceled by a Mirror Force. That was probably worse. Yeah, that sucks for me. All right, things are going extremely poorly. Even though my opponent has no hand, the hand they did have was already good enough. And I just need to keep top decking monsters. Luckily for me, they finally bricked in a pair. I don't even know what that, maybe it's Seiyaru since he used that once. It could be the Dragon Seiyaru, so let's just hope that's what it is. Strings, I'm taking you down. You're not going to beat me every single time. I draw. You know what? If I have to do it, I have to do it. I'm willing to Monster Aborn. Not something I want to do, but screw it. Alright, with Monster Aborn, I'm going to take uh, Summon Skull out of his grave. Even though I don't get the buff, it doesn't matter. What matters is that he cannot revive it himself. Who knows? Maybe he draws Call of the Haunted or something. I'm sure he doesn't have it, but... His deck should have it, because he should also have Card of Safe Return, he should have Slap and Sky Dragon, but I'm starting to think that Strings' deck is mostly original, since they didn't even give him his fusion monster. I mean, yeah, they gave him the materials for the fusion, but they didn't give him his fusion. And also, I haven't seen a single Revival Gem in any of our attempts against him, which is weird. You would think we'd see at least one Revival Gem by now, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I might be a little crazy. Some people have called me crazy. Don't, don't call me crazy. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. I, I, I'm starting to think that I might be a little more crazy than I should be. But let's just hope for the best and that everything's going to work out. Heavy Storm's a beautiful card, but my opponent has no trap. However, if they have that freaking Magician of Fate that they had last time that won them the duel and going to be upset. Let's see what they do have. Spear Dragon, I could beat that no problem. Okay, as long as they're just drawing beater monsters that don't do anything, we're cool. I just need to draw more of my monsters, which... Again, I specifically made this new deck with more monsters just to make sure I would actually draw the cards I wanted. And yet, we're in this... It, the fuck is going on? <laughs> is it just when you're against strings, like the game makes fun of you? You know what, just in case that one's a Magician of Faith, I'm gonna play Change of Hearts. Screw this, I know you should always save this, but... No. It's Vorse Raider, okay, whatever. Now, I have Mirror Force now, so I'm not worried if he tributes it for his own Summon Skull or whatever, but hey. I'm a little upset right now, you can hear it in my voice. I'm gonna go ahead and do 2500 damage. Um, 1900 damage, I almost ended the duel off of that alone, so that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Still a little upset about the situation we're in, but you know, I, I thought I fixed the deck. I thought I was like, you know what, new deck today, we're gonna make it all nice and clean. Get the new deck out, and it does the exact, it has the exact same problem as the last one, which makes me think Strings is just cheating. Somehow making me draw all the same spells and traps, rather than my monsters. So they look like they have a double tribute monster in their hand. Horn of the Unicorn is part of the deck too now, that is true, but still, I can't believe this. I honest to god can't believe this crap. 
Obviously, I'm not going to play Horn of the Unicorn, because if I do, I'm going to be stuck with it, and then it might be a new draw, and then I'll never draw a monster card. Okay, I'm trying to think. I only run two tribute monsters in my deck, so other than those two tribute monsters, I better draw something. All right. This deck has two tributes and 21 regular monsters, and I'm drawing none of them. I am starting to think that Strings is AI cheats. Let me know if any of you guys have played this game and if against Strings this has happened to you. Um, because it should not be happening. It's not even a possibility. The fact that we're living in this realm makes no sense to me, and I, I'm starting to get upset. Why is he making me earn this victory so hard? Like, what, what did I do wrong? All right. There's no way in hell I can draw another spell or trap. White Magical Hat is not the best, but you know what? It will do. We will make it do. Because I have Horn of the Unicorn. So we will make it do good enough. Horn of the Unicorn, we have a new monster that needs a buff. Why don't you go ahead and buff him? White Magical Hat is in the deck to help us with discarding, because honestly, discarding from my opponent's hand is pretty freaking valuable. Uh, obviously, I can't do it right now, but we will eventually. But I also hope for no flip effects. Okay, good. Just the Enchanting Mermaid, the card I lost to last time. Not bad. And White Magical Hat at 2200. What a beautiful monster. Uh, he's going to go ahead and destroy the Tal the Chanter, another card that I fought earlier. All right, next turn, we should be able to end the duel. In fact, I can almost guarantee it. That was the one thing I couldn't guarantee. Well, though, we already went through Mirror Force, so... Oh, wait, I have MST in my hand. Oh, never mind. It was a guarantee. It was a guarantee. I forgot I have MST. I didn't want a Heavy Storm anyway. Heavy Storm would have done the same thing. We were fine. We were fine. All right, let's get rid of whatever the hell that was. Doesn't I don't even care what it was, because I finally beat Strings. And you know what? We're going to do it with White Magical Hat, because that's one of our cool cards. It's a rare card in this game, so I'm glad I was able to pull it. White Magical Hat, go! And just like that, everybody, we have won the duel. And by winning the duel, we shall receive, I would say... Let's go with the Jinzo pack. Let's see what we can get from a Jinzo pack. No monsters. Wow, okay, maybe that's a whole thing going on today. We're going to see no monsters today. All right, goals. I don't know who's left in you, but let's see. Oh, Loomis and Umbra. Or Umbra and Loomis, okay. I don't think I've ever seen Umbra's name go first, but sure. Umbra and Loomis. Let's see how these two can do. Okay, I'm excited. This should be a fun duel. It's a Lincoln duel. We can actually take a peek at their hand. What the hell kind of cards do these two run? Now, they should have the mass monsters, so ritual should be expected and the traps. Oh, what the fuck? Why does everyone have this? Okay, everyone has the same freaking beef in their deck, I see. Uh, I'm just going to play Vorse Raider since if they have that kind of beef, I need my own. And then I will have Rush Recklessly there to protect him from any real danger. So let's see what happens. I'm expecting the Mass Beast Ritual Monster. They might even have Mass Beast as Guardius as long as they have the... Yep, that happens. Can't protect myself from that, but at least Raigeki's gone early. Mass Sorcerer! Of course they have that! Draw power card is super good. Okay, unlucky for me. Very unlucky that they had the right Gekki into Mass Sorcerer, because now they get even more cards, which scares the crap out of me. Plus, they have back row, so yeah, lots of things to worry about. Megamorph, not bad with Maha Velo when you're in the losing spot. I will say that much. Um, I'm going to try and summon White Magical Hat to see if they'll try to activate something against it. Okay, they didn't try. Um, I don't mind if White Magical Hat dies to a trap card, so let's just... Oh, it could be Mask of Weakness, though. I don't know if that card... All the Mask cards should exist, right? It's Mirror Force. He just spent a whole Mirror Force on my freaking White Magical Hat card. I am cool with this. I am 100% okay with this scenario. So, let's go ahead and see what they plan on doing now. I'm leaving myself wide open. Mask Sorcerer is going to give them even more draw power, which I'm afraid of. Oh, no, everyone just runs Summon Skull. Makes sense. I'm not even upset because it makes sense. Now, granted, I'm not happy about the back row. So, I don't really know what to do about it. I mean, I could just Heavy Storm, but then I lose Rush Recklessly, which I don't technically need. I don't need it at all. Just lose Rush Recklessly. Let's just go for it. I could summon first, but if it's Trap Hole, then I really pay the price. So, let's see what it was, and then I'll see if I did the right or wrong play. It was Mask of Weakness this time. I'm, okay, I could have Rush Recklessly, but it would have just been countered anyway. So, we're just going to go ahead and summon Maha Velo. And Maha Velo is going to earn the power of the Megamorph. And with this power, we have tons of attack points, 3,600. Now we're going to play the power of Horn of the Unicorn, which I think will just give me 500 attack. No, it gives me everything perfect. And by doing this, I have 4,800 attack on my Maha Velo. But 
If my Velo dies to anything, I lose the duel because I will be bricked. I will brick for two turns. So if I see a single dark hole from all that mass sorcerer crap, I will lose. Monster of Born doesn't scare me. That doesn't scare me. He's the one that's scared. Although he's building up a wall, which is very smart. Um, well, that's for emergencies. Um, yeah, this is in the deck for emergencies, and uh, we're not in one of those situations. I kind of wish I had you when I really needed you, which uh, has not come yet. I mean, I could have went all in and won the duel. Oh, I couldn't even win the duel. They have too many life points, but still. Let's just hope that other monster's not a man eater bug. We don't know what Loomis and Umbra have, so... I can only assume some of their monsters. Ah, oh, I should have just set you. But they would have attacked you if I did, so who cares? At least now they won't have any monsters to kill you with. Alright, Time Wizard, just hide back there, don't you worry. Mask of Darkness gives him back Mirror Force! Which is why we have Jinzo in- Ring of Destruction, no! No, I'm gonna lose! I can't destroy my own spells and traps! Oh crap, I should not I should not have set Time Wizard, that was a huge misplay. I had no clue. Oh wait, he- Please give me time, please don't do it on standby face, please give me two seconds. Two seconds is all I ask for, sir. Okay, I have to get rid of my monster. I have to get rid of my monster, get rid of Maha Velo. I have to or I lose. Jinzo- Oh no I didn't! Wait, why'd I do that? No I didn't. I, Jinzo negates the traps. You know, Cooper's kind of a crazy character. I'm a crazy guy, you know, I got some insanity in me. And with that insanity, I've made mistakes in my life, so hopefully you all can forgive me for said mistakes. Uh, let's just have Jinzo attack for now and see how it goes. Alright, there's a Grand Teak. They definitely have Mass Beast as Guardian, so if they're running that card, they have it. Alright, so things are not the best because I'm letting them build a lot of hands. I'm playing horribly. Um, I guess if they did kill Jinzo with a spell card, let's say a Fisher, I would have lost, so... There was always that reasoning, but I still don't like it. I need a new monster card. Upstar Goblin, please help me. Aaron I Parshat, the perfect monster, one of my tributes. All right, this was a rare card we pulled earlier. These are my only two tribute monsters in this deck, Jinzo and Aaron I Parshat. And Aaron I Parshat, you better believe you're getting the horn of a unicorn. You're already a fairy, it's perfect. Now you're a unicorn type of fairy. So you go in because not only do you do piercing damage, which is awesome, but you also, uh, no, let me draw a card. Grand Teak Elder, get out of here. If we had two of those, we'd be dead. His monster beats our monsters. Even if I buffed Jinzo with Horn of the Unicorn, his boss monster, Mass Beast Disguardius, would have killed us. It has a massive 3300 attack stat. In fact, the Mass Beast deck has one of some of the strongest beater monsters you'll ever see. Mass Beast himself, the Ritual Monster, has 32. And the boss has 33. Oh, well, that's... That's not even your best defensive monster, I don't think, so that was a weird play. I guess you can't tell I'm doing this piercing damage. Oh, that's fine. I already won the duel. I'm going to summon Spear Dragon for Queen. And we're all out of fun, guys. Let's just go ahead and win the duel. Aaron I Parshath, give me a new card. I want to see if I can draw something special. All right, we barely beat Umbra and Loomis, thanks to luck. Honestly, just luck on that one. And Jinzo goes in. If they had just activated that freaking trap card, I would have lost. But they waited way too long. They must have a, time, a timing period that the AI allows them to activate that stuff. Um, we're gonna go with the Thousand Eyes pack. Let's see if we can get a Thousand Eyes Restrict. Uh, Red Moon Baby's interesting. Reinforcements can be useful. Fairy Meteor Crush is fine. Uh, Bite Shoes is bad. Red Moon Baby I do like, though. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's just continue on and let's see what we can do. So, um, oh, shit, went the wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Let's just keep looking at the goals and see who we can fight. This time we get Rare Hunter again. Okay, if they want me to fight the Rare Hunter, I will fight said Rare Hunter. I am not uh, here to judge. I'm here to duel. We're going to see a lot of goals in the next few episodes, that's for sure. I started Double Shining Angel, which is not normally good, but in this case it is, because I'm probably going to lose one anyway to bull crap. Also, I have to win this duel very quickly, so I'm glad I got a Piercing Damage Monster. Okay, yep, if I even have a chance to win this duel. I also need an MST, and I need it now. I'm going to summon Shining Friendship in hopes to see that that trap card activates. Okay, thank God I did that. Alright, good job, Cooper. You saved yourself. Shining Angel can be used aggressively, even though I expect this man to have good defensive monsters like he did in the show. I could buff myself, but I don't really want to. I'm just going to go in and hope that I get through the defenses before Exodia becomes a problem. Their deck is very good at getting... Son of a bitch. Oh, God. 
Their deck is very good at getting Exodia. It's literally a cheater deck. You can lose to this man at any time. So the fact that I have to start this way, Trap Hole was a little sad for me, but at the same time, I still have a chance. I just got to be really help hopeful. Oh, crap. 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 Come on, Spell Card. That's not the one I wanted, but you know what? It's, 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 it's It has to do it. Get me Heavy Storm, Harvey Feather Duster, even Imperial Order. Okay, yeah, yeah, we both want to draw a card. I get it. Oh, crap, I might lose this one. Oh, White Magical Hat's perfect! It's the perfect card. He just can't do it. Oh, my God, I hate this. I hate this. I can't get to him. Oh, why? How did he get swords? <laughs> it's limited to what I thought. Oh, God. All right, all right. It's fine. It's fine. We'll think of something. The spark is not what I'm thinking of, but I can play it either way, so let's just get it out there. We got the spark. Spark is good. Um, let's start getting some cards out there. White Magical Hat, get out there. You're going to be so valuable in this duel, you have no idea. Let's make sure you have some protection just in case they... I don't think they're going to run any beaters, but if they do, we need to be ready. All right, let's see what they end up doing. No Exodia, but the back row scares me. Swords is pissing me off. I need a heavy storm or something. Exile Force can help, but if it's a Witch of the Black Forest, I'm going to be pissed. It's not worth it right now. You know what? It's not worth it right now, but I'm still willing to set it just so I have more options. Yeah, for when I can't attack. The Swords has to be done with, right? There's no way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to win this duel in like one turn, which I don't have the damage for, but I have to make it happen either way. Oh god, I need to draw Heavy Storm and I need it now. MST is the only thing I have, so I have to guess. It came right after everything else. I have to take a guess on which one is the problematic card. Can we please go to the opponent's side of the field? Thank you. It's gonna be this one. This is gonna be the problem card. Well, it wasn't Jar Greed, that's for sure, so what the hell was it? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, thank you, God. Well, actually, the other one could still be a problem. Let's find out. I'm gonna flip Exile... Look, I'm gonna flip Exile Force and pray to God it's not a TT. That's the only other thing. It's just Trap Hole. We can live with that. I chain Exile Force's effect. That is a thing I can... Oh, no, I can't. The game won't allow me. All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we are going to need to do other stuff then. We're going to have to go all in no matter what because if I don't we're going to lose so go all in we need to get white magical hat in there as soon as possible because he needs to be the one to kill the enemy monster of born will kick in monster of born is going to bring back not just again that's for sure I guess shining friendship he's out for can at least kill the back no still shining friendship we're gonna tribute it anyway I was like if I kill that it's it's fine I don't want to not about that. It's just about letting White Magical Hat get in there. And if that's a Witch of the Black Forest, I'm going to be pissed, but it doesn't matter. Let's just tribute you. Alright, 2900 attack. That's a lot of piercing. This is a very tense duel, but this is a lot of piercing. I'm going to hope and I'm going to pray that this is exactly what we need. Alright, if it's a Witch of the Black Forest, I could assume we lost. If it's a Sangan, I, well, they're limited to one, so... Yes, let's see it. Nope, they're not limited to one in his deck. He can cheat. Okay. Well, since I probably already lost already, I'm just going to rush recklessly to show I did everything I possibly could. Um, sadly, I have to do this. 33,000 damage. So even if I did Exile Force, we would have been in the same situation. There's the right... Wait, didn't he already have the right one? Okay, maybe maybe he messed up unless he knows why Magical Hat's going to hit right arm. We need to hit an Exodia piece. Normal monster, normal monster. Okay. Please not the right arm, because I think he put, picked two of those for some reason. Okay, well, shit. I think he picked that for a reason. It's like the AI knew somehow. I feel like they're cheating. Shit! I couldn't win the duel, even on this. Really? I was so close. I was so close. All I needed was 700 more damage. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. There it is. Yep. Of course he would draw it right there. I lost to Exodia, everybody. Let's see if there's animation. There's an animation! Thank God! This game put more effort than Tag Force 7. 
Let it be known, this game with no effort has more effort than Tag Force 7. And we have been obliterated. I used every option I had in that moment, because I knew it was probably my last turn, and I still couldn't do it. Give me another fight with him. Yeah, give me a Rare Hunter, Exodia 2, whatever you want to call it. Just give me another shot against him. I want to do him. Alright. Main phase. We got Rich of the Black Forest. So your cheater deck needs to be put down. Your back row cards always stop me, so let me see. It's probably Jar Greed this time, though. I want to believe it's Jar Greed. Uh, Upstart Goblin. I really don't want to heal him, but I, I do need to make... No, wait. How strong is that monster on the field? 11 shit. Yeah, I do need a little bit more. I'm gonna white magical hat immediately, so... Well, actually, if I do that, I die, because I'm probably gonna get hit by a trap if it's not what I think it is. So let's go with Ancient Elf, just to be like, hey, look at me, I'm trappable. And there we go, we got hit by a trap hole. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not happy about the situation, but I couldn't stop it anyway, so we tried. Let's see what we got this time. Just the battle phase, which means he has as many Exodia pieces as he wants already. Unluckily for me, but hey, at least Exodia has a cool animation. Oh shit. Is he gonna get swords every time? Alright, Heart of the Cards, Shining Friendship is not good enough. Our Cold doesn't help me in the end. Cyber Jar doesn't help me either, but at the same... I mean, this could probably kill me, but at the same time, I might as well race to see if I can get my MST Heavy Storm and then summon a bunch of crap. Alright, here we go. Cyber Jar could end this duel. At least we'll know what he draws, though. He can't hide it. Alright, he gets Backup Soldier. He gets Pot of Greed. He gets left the A leg on the field. I forgot, Cyber Jar helps me. Pot of Greed, Trap Hole. So he has all the draw power in the world. I'm getting my equip spells all of a sudden. Uh, Shining Abyss, get the fuck on the field. I need you. Uh, Ancient Elf, get the hell on the field. We need as many of you as possible. I got all my equips instead. And TT would have been nice, but not really. Alright, I don't think uh, he has Exodia. Yep, he does. Yeah, he does. Okay. Well, shit. I have been Exodia twice today. Getting real tired of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this man. Look at him. He beat me. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. All right, he's been getting a little too lucky. I don't know if you you guys agree or not, but he's been getting a little too lucky. Um, uh, only people I have to duel right now are the goals. I mean, I could get Pegasus to 10 wins, and that's probably something we will do. But I need to get wins on the goals if I want to get even more characters unlocked. We only just entered Tier 4. I'm just scared of these characters because they're cheating. <laughs> they're cheating. All right, White Magical Hat is perfect, and I have a card to buff it, and I have Dark Hole. Uh, we're going to start off with Shining Abyss in defense mode. And then we're going to hope to God that he doesn't get another trap card like he's been... He always got Trap Hole on me. Or Swords. That's the only two things he gets. Dark Hole, that's fine. No monsters. That scares me a little bit. It would be nice to know if I had a, a MST to start the duel, but I don't. So, forced to give him life points even though I really don't want to. Draw Greed. Okay. At least I know I can White Magical had him, and I could try to throw away some of his cards. Yes, we all know he has uh, Backup Soldier and stuff to refill his hand with the Exodia pieces, but who cares? As long as we're throwing them away, it feels a lot better. So we're going to give all of our buffs to the most important character, White Magical Hat, because he is the only one that can keep us in this duel. And I did not realize he was going to be this valuable, because he was just kind of thrown in the deck for fun, but against this opponent, he does have value. The problem is this guy runs three copies of Exodia and can just throw away copies of it rather than just the piece I want to hit. He didn't summon anything. Okay, he had a trap card. What was it? Why did you not play Mirror Force, sir? Because now you paid the price. You super paid the price for not playing it. Alright, at least I got rid of Mirror Force for free. And he already dark holed us, so unless he started with Dark Hole and Raigeki, I'm feeling good. Okay, all Exodia pieces. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're hitting one of them. Jinzo would be nice, but not at this moment in time. Right now, we're just going to go for damage. Our maximum damage. And we're going to keep throwing away cards so that he doesn't have Exodia. Because Exodia is how we lose the duel. Alright, 4,600 life points left. And he drops. So, uh, that's a piece for sure. That's the right arm. Okay, one right arm in the grave. We need to get three right arms in the grave for me to feel safe. Even though we're about to win the duel next turn. Let's just assume that was the whole play we needed to win this duel. Even if he gets a trap, I'm fine. I got Jinzo. 
There's the trap to uh, try to scare me off, so we're fine. I have change of heart, which is not useful in this situation, but it's okay, because I already have everything I need. And just like that, we won the duel, everybody. Jinzo protects me from that new trap card. It couldn't have been Mirror Force anyway, but if it was something stally, it would have been annoying. Even if it was something as, as simple as negate attack. White Magical Hat gets to attack, just because I want to see if he if I can hit another piece. Yes, I did. I'm going to assume it is a piece. And Jinzo ends the duel. Okay, we got our victory. I know it took us a little longer. I know we struggled, but hey. At least we got our victory, and that means Seeker, give me cards. I want... Okay, now we've opened a lot of stuff. Let's go back to the past. Let's get Barrel Dragon again. This pack has my favorite stuff in it. We got another Thunder Dragon. That's good. That's good. We need three of these. I got two now. Although I don't know where Twin Head is. Um, still, good to know. Good to know. Uh, but that is going to be it for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we'll continue to fight the ghouls while also thinking about fighting Pegasus to 10 wins just so we can get his pack. See you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe.